All right, folks, this is Brian, a.k.a. B-Funk Phenomenon, coming at you with a little craziness this time to display how I incorporate crazy antics during training sessions to get my point across. And the following footage is just one small example of exactly that. Always safe, of course, but nevertheless a little unorthodox. But hey, the whole Sofa Fitness roller skate training system is impossible to file under any existing coaching and training method in the physical and mental psychological realm. So, we might as well stay unique and keep doing what we do, because we are experiencing massive results on a daily basis. This footage was shot on the 23rd of May 2022. A cross step as a preset and then trailing away sideways on count number 5, making this riff a total of 8 counts to the left and 8 counts to the right. The skill improvement of practically everyone in this footage has been massive over the last 6 months which has allowed me to tap into the deeper layers of my creative trainer skills. When using the whole body to travel or change direction, it means more muscle groups are involved to create momentum. More movement tends to suggest more effort. But when you can figure out the most economic way to use the whole body, the movements become light, safe and controlled. And they will feel like that as well. And they will look effortless. Close to the camera in the front row we have Arike, Marina in black, and second row Yvonne in pink and Wendy in the back corner in black. Now challenging your balance doesn't necessarily mean to keep still or steady. It oftentimes means moving body parts in such a way that it brings extra flavor, but still is conducive to the movement as a whole. In this case I would like to see the group doing something that resembles a reversed body roll. Crunching the upper body as if they were ducking an upcoming obstacle results in hinging the hip, which supports the actual traveling when doing this trailing technique. Now I don't mind saying a million times to lower the upper body, and I will, but sometimes you gotta break out the heavy equipment to give them an experience and understanding that will forever stick. So here we go, let's see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, so the obstacle coming at them was a pole, and they had no other choice but to duck to avoid getting hit. And as you can see, they were slightly surprised, but apart from all the screaming and yelling, it didn't throw them off. In fact, they were still riffing the sequence. Now I do have a pretty decent proficiency skill level in handling the 6.5 point pole, most commonly known from the Wing Chun fighting system. So I was fairly confident that this could not go wrong. But I do want to state, no one was hurt or frightened, and they all came back for the next session. But most importantly, the hip hinge by crunching the upper body, even slightly, really served its purpose, and that is boosting the trailing technique. I want to thank everyone for putting up with my crazy antics, and just so you know, I have a lot more from where this came from. I hope you liked this video, thank you for watching, please stay safe, and catch you on the next one. Yeah.